We've joined in with Casco largely so that we could innovate. We've been developing this concept of doing synchronised sampling across the catchment. We have a big group of volunteers who all come together, we do some training with them, we send them out to a series of sites across the catchment and we get them to monitor the water chemistry, the invertebrates that are living in the river and habitat quality. We've got a mix of people who volunteered with the Trust before and who are used to doing these kind of surveys, but then also lots of families who are local and who've never done this kind of thing before. And it tells us a huge amount of information about the health of the, the catchment, across the catchment and how it varies. And from that, Ribble Rivers Trust can have a look at where potential issues might be coming from. And from that, we can start to figure out how we might solve those issues. Well, I'm just amazed that there's 50 plus people here today who are going to be doing the, the river blitzing. It brings people together and people actually think about what their local environment is, is about. I do volunteer work outside of my job at the moment. There's a passion for me, yeah. Better rivers, better northwest. And we're working with water rangers. We've never really done water chemistry testing before, so it's been really exciting to, to work with those guys. Really exciting is uh, the E. coli, looking at the bacteria in water. Um, now that's becoming really important for, for Ribble. Sure, if we are designated for bathing water status, to be able to use citizen scientists to help us figure out where the bacteria, the E. coli, are coming from, and maybe even whether it's human or whether it's from animals. What's been amazing is that actually we've narrowed it down to one site that needs to be investigated and one small, sort of really small tributary. Um, I think Casco is a really valuable program, bringing lots of people together and trying to crystallise what are some really good citizen science initiatives that people should get involved with. It can accomplish a unified approach across lots of different organisations where we can start to use data in a really meaningful way and create some positive change. The thing is, rivers don't stop, so we can't stop. So we might go out and do some interventions and some improvements, but we're going to have to come back and see how that performed. All being well, this is just the beginning of an ongoing process.